Uh, we did a 40 year record last year and generated um, 13.2 terawatt hours. The Sir Adam Beck Hydro Facilities in Niagara Falls have marked their highest energy production since 1982. Meanwhile, the Pickering Nuclear Station recorded its second highest ever output as a six unit station. OPG crediting a decrease in outages along with higher utilization during periods of demand. We're working really hard at this plant to try and provide availability and so we're doing some overhauls coming up. We're going to um, look to increase the capacity of the station uh, just by maybe a 1% or so. Um, that will convert into maybe uh, another half a tower hour of production. Pender telling us it'll become increasingly important to squeeze more juice out of existing facilities with demand expected to soar. Everyone's driving a lot more EVs. Um, demand in the province is going up. It's demand the grid must be ready for. In 2022, California asked residents not to charge their EVs during a heat wave. Around the same time, residents in Colorado found they were locked out of their smart thermostats by officials protecting the energy grid. And most recently, we saw Alberta asking residents to cut back during a cold snap. I think we've got a bit more of a flexible uh, fuel mix here. So we've got a really high proportion of hydro, a high proportion of nuclear. So uh, that, that, that's not really a concern I see. In the short term, you know, if you rolled forward 10 or 15 years, we need to do the development in the province to keep providing that. I believe in picking the lowest hanging fruit first. Kina Trow was with McMaster University. She knows quite a bit about power needs and generation. She says it's good to maximize existing power plants and also agrees we need to be thinking now about the future demand. There are very, I think, well-founded concerns around um, whether or not we're building our capacity up at a rate that is going to meet the future demand. She's urging us to think carefully about what should be electrified. For example, she says plug-in electrification works for cars. You know, if you think about sort of the daily commuter, the going to the grocery store. But adds long haul shipping may be better served by hydrogen. Traveling thousands of kilometers and where taking a long time to refuel has such massive negative impacts. Or take heating, she says, isn't that well served by electrification? This is where we have to start to look at things like long duration thermal energy storage. As for the reliable but hotly debated fuel sources like nuclear and natural gas, she says nuclear must be part of the future discussion. As for the gas? Our natural gas plants um, have a have a life expectancy and within that life expectancy we should be ramping up alternative technologies um, but the nuclear that we're talking about now is not the same kind of nuclear technology that was on offer 30 years ago. The federal and provincial governments share jurisdiction over energy. In Ontario, grid management is handled by the IESO, the Independent Electricity System Operator. In Niagara Falls, David Zura, City News.